Hi everybody, it's Eugene Lee Show. Today I'd like to show you some things in Pharaoh's scene with respect to colorizing scans. For anybody who's done laser scanning, uh, there's two things that often come up, and one is that the quality of the color capture of the scanner itself is not always so great, uh, unless you're using a digital SLR camera with your uh, scanner. Um, and the second thing that is uh, even more of a problem is when scanning outdoors um, or you know when, when people are around uh, that sort of thing uh, you you always have a problem where you scan one thing but when it comes time to take the photos somebody may have walked in front of you know uh, an important part of the scan cars have been driving by they're in different locations and so you end up with um, you end up with uh, problematic colors in the scan. So um, I want to show you a few things on how you can treat some of that to improve the uh, the look of your scan. And so in Ferro Scene, there's um, there's three different ways you could approach that. And I'm not going to sh I'll show one in particular in detail, but uh, or maybe two in detail and not not the other. So th this one I'll just talk to you about. But one is um, if you go into your scans folder and you go to the particular scan, and then you'll see there's a photos folder. If you go in and look at the photographs. Um, when you double click on one, you, you can bring up any a single image of one of the uh, uh, one of the scans that the scanner took. So I'll see if I can find something a little bit better here. Maybe this one here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here's here's a, here's one where I've got a photo, and you can see that there's a chair here. I put this particular chair here um, in the uh, in the view when it was taking photos, but it wasn't there during the scan. So I'm going to go back to the scan, and you'll see that here I've got this picture that's pasted on the wall. And I'll go on the outside and you can see how it's just pasted on the wall like that. And often if you get cars, they get pasted on the ground and it just uh, it just looks awful. So this is obviously something we, we want to correct. So what you can do, um, you can go to the particular photograph that's um, bugging you uh, or causing a problem. And if you right click, go to import export and export picture. Save it as a JPEG, bring it into Photoshop, uh, use the clone stamp tool, erase it, recolor it, whatever it is that you need to do, and then resave it again as a JPEG image, and then choose uh, come back into scene here on Indoor, in, Import Expert, um, just choose Exchange Picture, and then it will uh, bring in the new photo. Um, then what you'll have to do is go back up here and go to the scan, go to Color Pictures, and then Apply Pictures, and then it'll uh, it'll apply them all again. But that new image will get applied and it will, uh, will change that. So that's one way to do it. Um, the second way, which I think is, is uh, the most, uh, probably the most useful way, uh, would be to um, export the color overlay, which is basically the panoramic image. So uh, we'll, we'll do that now. I'll show you how you do it. Just right click, go to Operations, Color, and then Export Cover Overlay. Uh, export Color Overlay, excuse me. So once we do that, um, there's a menu that comes up and you can you save it as a bitmap image into uh, a folder. Now I've already done that so what I'm going to do is switch to Photoshop and I've got the image here so uh, it's the full uh, it's about 82 megabytes on this particular image so um, uh, let me just move this over here and um, what I want to do is clean this up somehow. Now there's, there's two things you can see here obviously the color is not the best um, and oops Doing, it's doing some funny things here with the screencast thing on. So let me just uh, move this back into place. Um, but there's a couple of things that you're going to want to do. Uh, one is clean up the color. The other might be to um, you know, erase some things. Uh, now, I'm not going to erase the, uh, the uh, chair here with the box and stuff. Um, what I will do is maybe erase something else. It's a little bit easier. Obviously, there's shadows and things like that. It's going to be complicated to do, and it may take some time. But let me move this over a bit. Just a bit more. Okay, so I've got these light switches and stuff and such. So if you hit S in Photoshop, you can use the clone stamp tool, click on an area around the object, and then just click over it. And I'm going to wipe that out. I'm going to do the same here with this. And just for the heck of it, there's a shadow on the door. Maybe I'll just get rid of some of that, just like that, and like this. So I pretty much clean that up. That's fine. Uh, I think for the example, I can. Uh, that's enough to show. Now, if you wanted to clean up, like I said before, that this thing in the middle, it's a bit of work, um, but you know it's certainly possible. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can also add things in. So, I added in a Radiohead logo because I'm a Radiohead fan. So why not? 
and um, you know you can do that with anything in the uh, in the scan if you want to place a, a company logo or something like that you can do that as well but um, the most important thing here is going to be the color uh, or something else here that I want to get to so if you just sometimes just a little bit of adjustment to the color and the contrast can make a really big difference uh, to the overall scan so it's going to back out here a little bit more and I'm just going to just do the levels here some really basic things. I'm going to bring up the, the bottom end so get get a little bit darker and I'm not going to do anything with the white because it's already pretty saturated on the top end but something like this that, that's good enough okay so once I've got this all I need to do is resave it again um, I believe it's bitmap, PNG and JPEG file that you have the option to do switch back to scene get back here go into uh, operations color pictures and uh, replace co cover overlay. So I'm going to do that and go back here and I've got it as cover overlay 1A. So I'm going to open that up. Uh, it may take some time to save. Uh, well this is already colored but um, you can see here I don't have any of the switches and you see I don't have the door handle and the shadow and I also have my uh, Radiohead logo here on the door. Uh, what I was going to say before was that the the image that it exports is about 82 megabytes so when you're in Photoshop and you're saving it's going to take some time if you resave it as a JPEG I think uh, for me it worked out to about 20 something megabytes as a PNG file so that's one way to do it uh, this this is uh, a really really uh, easy uh, you know an easy option if you're cleaning up cars on the roadway and, and that sort of thing so uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put this back to normal for a second and so I'm going to replace it with the original, which was one. And there's a reason for that is that I need the uh, I need the light switches in there to show you something else. So the third way uh, or the way you can do something, if you are scanning a particular object and you're not interested in colorizing the whole scan, but maybe you're scanning the facade of a building or maybe you're scanning a uh, a sculpture uh, or something like that, well, you can uh, colorize the scan. Uh, with a regular uh, digital image. So what I did was I took a photograph of this uh, section of the room here with just um, with nothing in it. So very plain but just using a point and shoot camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to go to color and colorize scan. Okay so it brings up this menu here and you need to uh, choose the image here. So let me see if I can make this larger. Well actually you'll see it in a second. So I'm going to double click on the image. Um, I'm going to add it I'm going to hit view and it gives me a split screen and I'll try to make a bit more real estate here so you can see the image like that so it's just that it's just that corner of, or just that part of the room so I didn't do um, you know take multiple images or anything like that or try to make a panoramic image so I'm gonna go and get more or less the same view here so this here is sort of, sort of like a point picker so I'm gonna start by selecting so I'm going to start off in this particular image and I'll use the light switch. Uh, let me see here. I'll go like that. Bring that up. And you could do this in a few different ways, but I'm just and I'm going to do this quickly. Obviously, you're going to want to you know, be more attentive when you do this. So 1 2 3 4 around the light switch and I'm going to do the same here. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to do the same order. 1 2 3 for you can alternate it doesn't matter what order you do these in um, and if you make a mistake just to note you can click on one of the numbers here right click you can reassign you can delete them you can move their order up and down as well so that's that's handy and sort of important to know uh, so I'm gonna move I'm gonna keep doing the uh, of this little I'll do a couple on this little light switch down here maybe I'll do in, in this order here one two uh, and I'll do a couple down here three four and so I don't get ahead of myself I'm going to do the same thing here down in this corner like so so I chose this one this one this one and this one and I'm going to go across and also do this part of the hinge I'm going to do the bottom part of the door this corner right here and also do the top of the door Okay, so I'll move this over a little bit. Top of the door. And I'm going to do the same over here. So I'm going to go do the hinge. 
Uh, yep, this bottom top of the hinge. I'm going to do the bottom part of the door. Right there. Oh, that's really washed out. That's okay. And I will do the top part of the door here. And it's probably enough. Um, maybe I'll do this part of the door just, just for the heck of it. And the same part of the door is over here. Okay. All right, good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, um, I'm just going to hit OK. Let that go. So it's going to figure out how to place the picture. Uh, well, you'll see it right now here. Let me close this. You'll see that in my scan, um, I've now uh, got a delineation line here where the image was pasted onto the point cloud. And you can see it looks pretty good. Um, so it looks like it's lining up quite well with the scan. Um, but this is a really, uh, really good way to, you know, use a, uh, a high-resolution digital camera to get some really nice colors and contrast into your point cloud. Um, so that's that's pretty much the uh, the ways we can do that. Okay. Um, so you know, the first way is to go to your pictures. Once you go to the pictures, you can export one of these. The second one is to go to uh, exporting the whole uh, panoramic image. So using the replace color overlay first export and then replace it once it's edited and then the third one is using colorized skin so those are the three methods I hope you found that uh, particularly useful maybe it's something you can use in your workflow and thanks a lot thanks for listening bye bye